Power planers and jointers can make a mess of some figured wood such as curly maple and lacewood, but there is an alternative to sanding through half a dozen grits to achieve a smooth surface, and that's a scraping plane. The scraping plane works much the same as a card scraper, using a tiny metal burr at the edge of the blade to take off paper thin shavings and leave behind an almost burnished surface. However, it does offer two big advantages. First of all, you don't need asbestos thumbs to withstand the heat that builds up on a card scraper from constant use. Second, the blade body itself holds the blade at a consistent angle, so you always get the same results. First order of business in using a scraper plane is rolling the burr on the edge of a sharpened blade. Start by sharpening the scraping plane blade much as you would any other type of plane blade. We also round it over the edges to avoid nicking the wood as we work. Next, you're going to need a burnisher. We're using a triangular burnishing tool here, but you could also use the shaft of a chisel or a screwdriver. The important thing is that whatever you use is harder than the plane blade. If you notice that you're taking more metal off of the burnishing tool than you are rounding the blade, it's too soft. Until you get the hang of putting the correct burr angle on your scraping plane blade, you'll need the help of a guide block. We created this one from a piece of scrap with a 15 degree bevel cut in the end. Then we clamp both the plane blade and the guide block into a vise with the blade slightly above the surface of the guide block. What we're going to do with the burnishing tool is to apply a slight burr on this edge by pushing the very tip of the metal over slightly. To do that, we're going to use kind of a diagonal stroke, starting from the center and moving toward the edges. You don't need to press extremely hard to get the job done. Remember, this is a very fine edge that you've got on this plane blade. After a few passes, check the condition of the burr by running your fingertip right along the edge very gently. You should be able to feel the burr start to develop from one end to the other. Another way to tell is just by running a piece of paper up and seeing if it catches against the burr as it travels along the blade. We have a sharp blade with an even burr on the end, so now it's time to insert it into the scraping plane body. To create paper thin shavings, we'll actually use pieces of paper to set the blade depth. Place two pieces of typing paper on both ends of the scraping plane body. Then, very gently, with the burr pointing forward, insert it into the frog of the scraping plane, being very careful not to damage the burr that we've just put on the edge. With the blade in position, let's check the adjustments on our uh, frog angle on the plane. We have a piece of figured maple here that's been run through a power jointer and as you can see by the chalk marks it's left a few scallops. You can also hear the uh, textured surface as the plane travels across the top. And there we are, a smooth surface and paper-thin shavings.